kids have something to say. Okay, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. Habit number one is be proactive. I'm in charge of me. I listen to your brain and don't listen to anybody else. When people are talking to you and they're saying that stuff, ignore them. Clean up your room. Without your mom telling you. Now, habit number two is begin with the end in mind. Have a plan. You make a plan, then you do it. When we went grocery shopping, we made a plan before we got the food so we wouldn't forget what we needed. When I go to the park, I'm going to make a plan and bring my drink, food, and... Maybe a pillow? Pillow. To sleep on a bench? <laughs> Habit number three is put first things first, work hard, then play. The first thing when I get home, I bring all my stuff in and I do my homework so I can play. When mommy tells me to do a job, I do it, then I have to play. I eat supper, then I take a bath, then I play. Think win-win, everybody can win. When I bring a toy to school and somebody else wants to play with it, we take turns with it. When other people want to play a basketball game and they lose, it's still a win-win because you don't, you don't be mad, it's just the game. And the only thing that matters is if you have fun. Habit number five, seek first to understand, then to be understood, li listen before you talk. When my sister is like telling me what to do, I say, listen to me, and then I can listen to you back, and we'll understand each other better. Like if my sister and me were having a fight over like a over like what like like a toy or something? Yeah, like like if it was my sister's and like we were supposed to show it, but that's it. But my sister doesn't want to since she kind of bosses me around. I would tell her why we're fighting. Ask her very nicely. Like she would say like because. Because this is my favorite toy and I just got it. I don't need to be broke. Habit number six, synergize. Together is better. My cousins, um, they lift up a box when they're like, when they're really heavy. So my cousins lift it up together. And that is it. Me and my sister made a big mess in our rooms and I said, why not you pick it up? Because last time I did it. And I said, ah. well, my sister said, I don't want to. And then I said that we should probably do it together. And then we did. Habit number, number seven. Sharpen the saw. Balance feels best. Today when I was at recess, I was, th I was thinking about why we have recess. I thought about habit number seven, sharpen the saw. And then I knew that we have to sharpen the saw in school because that's how we get to have fun and we won't be all like mad that we have to just do work the whole day. I go to my grandma's house and my grandma's camper and then we, then when I'm all done with my homework, we go to my house and then I have a trampoline 
and then I jump on it and do cool flips. Um, like I would like, I would like before I had a chance to even play, I'll be nice and um do my work first, like my homework, and then I could go to my friends Nathan's. Be proactive. I'm in charge of me. Listen before you talk. Sharpen the saw. Balance feels best. I go to my grandma's house and my grandma's camper. And you do your homework first and then you get to go outside and play. Mom would tell us to um, clean it up 